Math has really been a saving grace for me. I grew up in my state in Riverdale, Georgia, and education system is not necessarily the best out there, so it was definitely a hard time getting by. Single mom, low income, so there's a lot of things that were kind of against me. But to get away from it all, I used to literally go to the library and just do math problems. So my senior year of high school, applying to colleges, uh, tech was a reach school for me. I did not think I was gonna get accepted to tech at all. It was like the day before application was due, I just went ahead and submitted it and was like, you know, let's we'll see what happens. And then in December, I was early accepted and it was like, whoa, this is real. Like, they actually accepted me. I, I'm actually smart. Somebody thinks I'm smart. <laughs> and then a couple months later, there was financial issues. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to afford to go to tech and it was like, okay, you know, I had my chance and now it's over. But then I ended up being awarded the G. Wayne Club Tech Promise Scholarship, which is a full ride scholarship with a semester of study abroad. So I am now leaving tech debt free. And I am a first generation college student. So learning how to write proofs, never saw that in high school. First time seeing it my second year here and that was like the breaking point for me. Like, you know what, I may need to be CS because this isn't it for me. I stuck through and I started to fall back in love with it in a different way. Some people really believe that everything about math is already discovered and it's not. There's still research happening in math fields and it's amazing like the levels that we're getting to as we just progress through the years. And those are the things that are actually changing our world. A, a year ago, I started a math tutoring and mentoring company called Arithmetic. And it was my way to finally give back to the community and actually produce more STEM leaders, STEM uh, activities, and actually inspire the communities that are often overlooked for these areas and just make a difference in the world. Everything that's happened to me at Georgia Tech since day one was life-changing. It was, I couldn't have imagined any of this coming from my background. I was just in a small community south of Atlanta where I never saw things that even exist here. I had never been to Georgia Tech's campus before, so just being here alone was just like, whoa, what is happening with my life? And now that I'm about to graduate, it's reflecting on where how I've grown, which you should grow during college. You shouldn't be the same person you were four years ago, and I'm a much better version.